Sheep and sheep products like wool sweaters are not as prevalent in today's society as they once were. At one point in history, sheep were extremely vital to the economy. In a way, sheep were at the center of the birth of the Industrial Revolution and capitalism in England through the help of the enclosure movement, the use of selective breeding, and advancements in technology. While prior to the Industrial and Agricultural Revolution, areas could only support the local population to an extent because of restricted regional availability of materials. One reason for this was the farmers allowed the animals to roam and wander throughout the common land. The sheep and other livestock were free to graze wherever they pleased. This inevitably led to the tragedy of the commons. The land was not being properly cared for and became depleted of its health. It was not until Parliament decided to establish the enclosure movement. This allowed privately owned land to be physically divided with hedges, fences, and walls. Landowners were also allowed to banish and kick off peasants from their property. All of this was the start of placing livestock in specific and designated areas. There were also a switch from mostly arable land for crops to including grassland designated for specific livestock to make that money. The conversion from open common land to pasture increased the significance of grazing and encouraged farmers to further improve their livestock conditions. During this time, a farmer named Robert Bakewell started to selectively breed sheep to produce more wool while still also having meat for consumption. This newly founded sheep breed is the Leicester sheep. These sheep became a hot commodity because of the mass amounts of wool that they were capable of growing, and at this time, sheep made it possible for England to become a major producer of wool for clothing and trade. Wool was a large asset for England's economy making it super important for them to optimize their techniques. During the Renaissance, the townspeople still had to rely on the cottager system. This meant that farmers were raising sheep in order for townspeople, typically women, to work the wool material. The production was limited on the fact that everything was made completely by hand within one's home. This work was extremely time consuming. This was because each piece of wool was manually washed, sorted, carded, combed, and then spinned for textile work. The cottager system could not support market demands much longer. Eventually, the spinning jenny was invented in 1764 by James Hargreaves. This new invention made processing wool go by a little bit quicker. This was because instead of spinning one thread at a time, someone was now able to spin eight threads at once. Then, five years later, in 1769, the spinning frame was invented by Richard Albright and John Kay. This machine was powered by water to create an even stronger yarn for textile work. The spinning jenny and the spinning frame were key inventions at the beginning of the Industrial Revolution because of how much they increased production capabilities. The economy became even more reliant on continuing to reduce wool. More people were investing in sheep farming and the production of wool because of the financial benefits. Because of the spinning jenny and the spinning frame inventions, you can see that sheep were very involved in the birth of the Industrial Revolution. Eventually, the Industrial Revolution utilized factories for workers to use these new technologies. Although these factories were often cramped and had poor work conditions, they were still functioning for many products like wool. Nonetheless, the Industrial Revolution could not have been as successful without the farming of sheep. So remember, sheep are not just cute little animals that go ba, they also played a role in the birth of capitalism and the Industrial Revolution in England.